If you're like me, you probably need a lot of caffeine, and if you don't have it, you will have a headache, and your day will be ruined. I mean, I think a lot of people have different relationships with caffeine. I'm not For instance, allowed to have it. You're not allowed to have it. it. Makes me sad. I don't know how you coped with that. Well, not well. Um, although one would argue that the world is probably a better place with me off caffeine. What? You, I'm I'm pretty perky now. Can you, you know imagine what? on that caffeine? That is possible. Yeah. That is because. <laughs> Caffeine can definitely change your outlook, your attitude, definitely your energy levels. But some scientists have developed an algorithm, scientists with the U.S. Army in particular, because this is a profession where you need to be alert right away because lives will depend on it. So what they found was by using their algorithm, which by the way is, has not been made public yet, unfortunately, because then I would probably <laughs> misuse it, determines <laughs> when and how much caffeine a person should consume, they can improve alertness by up to 64% while consuming the same amount of caffeine. So I think this may have to do with body weight, mm -hmm. um, maybe a number of hours slept. Uh, amount it, of food, maybe? It's gonna be very, have? yeah, there's gonna be a lot of variables in that will change for every single person. Yeah. Which might be why we don't know what it is, because we might do something unhealthy. Uh, but it looks like this is, I mean, what they did is they compared um, studies with sleep loss, about four different studies of sleep loss, in which uh, caffeine dosing strategies were compared against uh, basically alertness in your performance, uh, how you're able to perform after taking this amount of right. caffeine. And they've determined this after studying all those other studies together. I, I've heard of different techniques for caffeine, which I've heard you should drink a cup of coffee, then take a half an hour nap. Yep. Then when you wake up, you are ready to go. I, I can't even imagine that. I mean, if I even look at caffeine, I can't sleep for a I week I can't and a go half. to sleep. No, no. I've actually no had to lower the amount of caffeine I drink because I think it gives me too much anxiety. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it totally makes me like, <laughs> it, it makes me difficult to be around. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> me as well. Just a lot of, you know, freaking out over things that maybe I shouldn't freak out I over. I dropped my pencil. So I've lowered it down to one cup a day. Maybe That's I should impressive. do even less. I do two sometimes on shoot days, and today <laughs> is a shoot day. <laughs> so maybe that explains some some things. The tool was already available that they used for this on a free web out called 2B-Alert, letter 2, big B. And in the paper they explained how the same algorithms can be tailored to individuals in the mobile app. Unfortunately, this is not available to the public just yet. I guess they're going to assess it within the military for a while. Yeah, and they mentioned in here um, about that this could help people who work in the medical profession and all of that, oh, yeah. but... Doctors keep insane hours. Yeah, but then maybe that would be bad for the whole discussion about how long you work and maybe you shouldn't be working that long because mistakes get uh, made. I mean, they, they could... It can be used for evil. They're definitely going to check <laughs> this. I mean, there's the, the psychomotor, psychomotor vigilance test, PVT. That's the name of the performance test that they um, weigh the caffeine take a dosage against uh, how it, how you're able to perform effectively. Right. So I think if you perform badly, they may uh, not go with that algorithm <laughs> for you in particular. But it does seem interesting to apply an algorithm to human performance and human reaction based on chemicals yeah. because it is always going to be a little bit different from right. person to right. person. Have you noticed since you've gotten off caffeine, any changes that are oh, positive yeah. or negative to you? Yeah, I actually sleep now, and um, I have punched fewer people. And no, I, well, yeah, I have punched fewer people. Um, yeah, I feel a little calmer. A little calmer. Um, I think it's certainly going to be different in the military because I saw oh, yeah. this thing that was just like, how do I go to sleep right away? Like they do in the military. And it's like, well, what you do is you wake up, you immediately jog two miles and Ooh. do a lot of push-ups no. and then go eight miles with a huge pack of things on your back. No. And you have one hour for productivity at the end of the day. But <laughs> it's a lot of very strenuous an athletic activity, which I refuse to do, <laughs> so I can't do it that way. Maybe I will just have to optimize my caffeine intake uh, by either lowering it or um, <laughs> or figuring out what the dosage is eventually. But it is interesting that they were able to find a way to make people more productive yeah. with the tools or with the amount of chemicals we already have or are already taking. Also, I miss you, caffeine.